We first came to University of Iowa Children's Hospital after Chaston was born with a physical defect. He had his cheek open from his mouth to his left ear. The umbilical cord was right there and I didn't realize right away how serious it was until the doctor took the umbilical cord away. I right away worried about his brain. What are his limitations? What are his capabilities? How is he going to be able to function for the rest of his life? Is he going to live? His very first surgery was to close his cheek from his, his mouth to his left ear, and that was at six months old. About nine months old, he had a sleep study. He was having problems breathing. The sleep study concluded that he was not getting sufficient oxygen to his brain and that he would require a tracheostomy. I remember that first visit at University of Iowa Children's Hospital. We found an entire team of doctors. They all did their own individual testing and then at the end of the day got together and, and discussed what was going to be the best treatment for him. He had a series of procedures done by various uh, specialties of surgeons. He's had soft tissue closure of a lateral cleft of the face. He's had soft tissue closure of the roof of his mouth, the palate, and has had um, bone surgery done to put bone in his jaw and make the jaw bigger. We have uh, high hopes for him. He will have a few more procedures as time goes on. We're excited for all that the world has to offer for Jazz and have been um, delighted to be a part of seeing him grow into all that he can be. The fact that the doctors knew what he had, because Sioux Falls didn't know, was a huge relief. I mean, it's like, wow, we're among people who have seen this before, they've dealt with it, they know what they're doing. Well, when I look at the pictures of my past years, it's very cool to see all they did for me. My doctors are very helpful, and I'm glad that they got me through all this. We have six children now. They don't look at him any differently. We don't look at him any differently. He's involved in about every athletic sport there is, and he's not treated any differently out on the basketball court, out on the football field. He has his driving permit. Um, we're sitting in the passenger seat these days. Uh, he's, he's a regular kid. One of my favorite things about my brother is he lets me hang out with him and his friends. We play sports, we go outside, we practice baseball, football. He is technically just the same, a normal person. I think a big key to why he's like he is and so well adjusted is because we never treated him like he was you know, different or special. He's our son, so I think that that's why he's the way he is. There were questions in the past, you know, he would ask, I would be looking in the mirror and he'd be like, you're beautiful, don't worry about that. It's the outer appearance, you're a great kid. My hero. In a lot of different ways. To look back now and he's 15 and at all the surgeries that he's had since then, it's just it's amazing. How do you put into words the appropriate thank you to doctors that have had and are still having a life-changing impact on your child. We can say thank you, and we do thank you a million times over, but it doesn't seem like that is enough or ever would be enough. University of Iowa Children's Hospital is top-notch in my books. In my mind, they are the number one ranked hospital.